lebih 100 tentara bayaran asing pendukung Ukraina tewas dalam serangan udara Rusia dalam semalam. Demikian dilaporkan Kementerian Pertahanan Rusia Minggu 20 Maret dikutip Tribun Timur. Rudal yang diluncurkan dari udara dengan presisi tinggi menghantam pusat pelatihan pasukan operasi khusus Ukraina di dekat pemukiman Ofruch di wilayah Zitomir, tempat tentara bayaran asing yang tiba di Ukraina bermarkas. Lebih dari 100 prajurit pasukan operasi khusus dan tentara bayaran tewas, kata juru bicara Kementerian Pertahanan Rusia, Mayor Jenderal Igor Konashenkov. Enemy concentration For post ru unmanned aerial vehicle destroyed one radar of target illumination and guidance of the S-300 anti-aircraft missile system near Vipozov, 60 kilometers north of Kiev. In addition, air defense means of the Russian airspace forces shot down five more Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles in the air, including one Bayraktar TB-2 near Malavransovka. In total, 201 unmanned aerial vehicles, 1,443 tanks and other armored combat vehicles, 147 multiple launch rockets systems, 564 field artillery and mortars, as well as 1,248 units of special military vehicles of the armed forces of Ukraine were destroyed during the operation. During a special military operation, an employee of the Security Service of Ukraine Main Directorate for Donetsk and Lugansk regions voluntarily surrendered to Russian servicemen. This officer was directly involved in organizing the training of sabotage and terrorist groups to work in areas liberated from the nationalists. The SSU officer provided detailed information regarding all persons involved in conducting sabotage activities on the territory of Donbass. I bring to the attention of all persons recruited by the SSU that voluntary renunciation of criminal activity and timely notification of it to law enforcement agencies releases from criminal liability. In addition, the SSU officer reported on terrorist acts planned by militants of the nationalist Azov Battalion in Lvov against employees and facilities of diplomatic missions of the United States and other Western countries. I want to emphasize that the leadership of the Kyiv regime is aware of the plans of the nationalists, but does not take any action to prevent their implementation. The Kyiv nationalist regime plans to present attacks on diplomatic facilities of the United States and Western countries as an alleged targeted attack by the Russian armed forces. The main purpose of the provocation is to increase pressure on NATO countries to introduce a no-fly zone over Ukraine and provide additional...